Hi princess! I feel like I haven't caught up with you guys in so long so today we're gonna be doing a Q&A video. I love doing these because I'm a yapper. We got a lot of good questions today so let's get into it. Boys, boy updates, men. <laughs> All right, this, this was very unexpected and not planned at all. Angel, look! Look, Angel! Oh my god. This is my boy update. I got a dog, Angel! His name is Angel. He's a... Oh, wow. He's actually a toy Maltese. So he's really tiny and he's gonna be small pretty much forever. But yeah, his name is Angel. He acts like a demon. He poops under my bed and he bites my hand. But he's sweet. Sometimes it's because he's a baby, so he's like teething and stuff. But yeah, that's my boy update. How have you been navigating modeling? It's been going really good. I'm taking it a few projects at a time because I don't want it to get dark anymore. So I'm being very, a lot more selective with the projects that I take on. I just shot with Spotify, which was insane. It's crazy because they selected me for their playlist campaign. And I, if you guys have followed me for a while now, you guys know that my Spotify, like I am such a playlist princess. Every emotion I've ever experienced, it's a playlist. I make playlists for people. My playlist was called Confident Pop Princess on the Catwalk and it was literally me to a T. I loved the whole experience, it was so fun. Hi guys, I'm at Spotify now. Guys, they have a candy bar. They said fill up your bag, so girl, I did just that. And look, they gave me a little charm bracelet and it's all pink. I might walk around and try to show you guys some of the set, but the other models are shooting now, so I don't want to interrupt. But yeah, it's really good to not compromise myself in order to get jobs or anything like that. I'm I'm very happy that social media is my main thing so I can be a little bit more picky with my jobs because if I was just a model, it would be really difficult to have autonomy over what I was selecting. Do you still give away money? That is a crazy way to phrase it. I believe you're referring to my dream funds, but the answer is yes. For the next three months, I have set aside a, a good amount of resources to dedicate to this project. I want to end 2024 with a bang, so if I could be of any financial help to you guys at all, please fill out the form below. What would you drop if you died in a video game? Okay, first of all, I think for when I died, the animation would be like a bomb of pink glitter. <laughs> what I would drop? Obviously my camera, a Celsius or an $8 vanilla latte from some overpriced New York cafe. This CoverGirl lip gloss that I wear every day. My bedazzled beats, they're falling apart, but I'm replacing them with pink hearts soon. Definitely a pink journal and my glitter pen. I carry my journal with me everywhere now and this is like my pink sparkly pen. I love her. Cookie dough bites. And just an abundance of love and inspiration. When you go to like walk over my body and collect my loot, it's just like, a thousand plus positivity, a thousand plus love, a thousand plus gratitude, probably a thousand plus sass. Notion tour. This is my to-do list. It's very pink and sparkly. I reset this like every Sunday, so I plan out my week on the weekends. Oh my gosh, I can make a whole video about this. I have other boards here, like this one is physical and it just has my food tracker and just like reminders of why I'm doing what I do and stuff like that. Faith board. I have a prayer board. This one's cool. You kind of just like, I can't click into any of them obviously, but this one like requests, it's really cool to, even if you're not religious, you can make like a board that's like journaling or something like that. And you can look back on it and it's like, wow, times have changed. Cause I've written so many requests in this board here and looking back on some of them, I'm like, I have that now. Like that's crazy. Winter oh arc. <laughs> That's so corny, I'm sorry. Habit tracker, self-doubt portfolio. There's there's a lot here. I, I love Notion, I'm such a Notion girl. If you guys are interested in more productivity slash Notion stuff, let me know and I can see what I can do there. What do you use Pinterest for? I love that question. What do I not use Pinterest for? I do use it to post my aesthetic photos, I can't lie. But on the personal side, I've used it to develop my style. I've used it to plan out trips. 
I've used it to plan out content. I've used it to plan out gifts. I've made hair boards, like everything you can imagine I've turned into a board, especially my vision boards. There is like nothing that I've accomplished that wasn't in a vision board on Pinterest first. <laughs> Hairstyles, my room. I use Pinterest for everything. Like it's just such a good place for inspiration and I love it. Favorite YouTubers slash influencers. Ah! Okay, I love and watch all my friends. So like Bella, Nicholas, McCall, Andrew, Alyssa. Alyssa is me in a different font, guys. Alyssa is like me if I drink more Celsius. So highly recommend her. If you like me, you're gonna like her too. Deb, Deb is the funniest person on YouTube. Miranda Ray, she's a sweetheart and so funny. Netflix party, Gabby. Guys, if you don't watch her, she has like some of the best videos to sit down and watch while you eat. Why is this literally a paid advertisement? Like I'm just selling you guys my YouTube friends right now. Like what is that? Oh, I also love Spencer Barbosa. Uh, and Sahar. Oh my gosh, there's so many. How have you been managing your health slash eating? Honestly, I've been trying to still reprogram my mind. I think it's hard to shift back into choosing strong and healthy over skinny, especially in an industry that praises that. It's a battle, I can't lie, but I'm a, I'm a very strong person and I can handle a lot, but this has just been a big mental block for no reason and I'm having a hard time working on it but I'm doing my best. I always like to be honest, I'm definitely getting absolutely cooked lately on every single thing I do. How do you know you have the right friends? I think if you guys are pouring into each other, I also think it's important to note that your friends should be adding to your life, not taking away. And if you have any friends in your life that you know are bringing you down or holding you back in any sort of way, Girl, it's time to go. Don't bring them into 2025. That's all I gotta say. Can you talk more about your mindset slash motivation? There's a lot of things on my mind, girl. I don't know what, I guess, well, she said motivation. I guess my philosophy is that we get one life. My personal philosophy is like, why on earth would I want my life to be normal or average if I only get one life? Do you see what I'm saying? While there's nothing inherently wrong with like a more simple life, that's just not gonna work for me. <laughs> Dude, there's just so much beauty and joy and opportunity out there and I wanna experience all of it. Especially through my worldview, I view life as a gift. There's an entire world of experiences that I haven't had yet. There, there are lives I'm meant to impact. So to take it slow in my head, that's not just boring, that's like wasted potential. Or not like wasted potential, that is wasted potential. I, especially knowing that I was blessed with the ability to even experience it. I have vision, I have legs that work, I can walk, I can hear, I'm healthy. I guess just living life to the fullest. I don't see that as a choice. I think that's my obligation to all the people's lives that I'm meant to touch because I know I am destined for greatness. Period. How can I make better friends? If you're just in like a toxic friend group, girl, get out. But I'm just saying this as like a general thing, maybe to challenge some perspectives today. I think you should be the better friend. I think a lot of people want friends who check in on them and make plans with them, who are there for them no matter what, but a lot of people don't wanna be that for others. A, a lot of people have expectations for their friends that they don't even meet themselves, so I don't mean to come off as harsh or anything, I just wanna offer a different perspective and hopefully serve as a reminder to be the change that you wanna see because if you're not reaching out, making the effort or checking in on your friends, you can't really expect that same loyalty, care, and connection back. Some of you pay more attention to the people that leave you on open, on Snapchat, than your loved ones. Ooh. Go there. How much of your summer bucket list did you get to do? Good question. I don't even know. Let me check for you guys now. I did a road trip. I did watch the sunrise. I did make a photo book. Oh my gosh, it's just so you guys. Oh, look, it's me and Emma. Oh my goodness, it's me and Emma again. Oh my gosh, look, this is me at the Tony Awards. This is me at VidCon. This is me meeting Rihanna. Ah! I posted a photo of this on Instagram. It's so unserious. It's like a list of my favorite texts how to stop feeling sorry for yourself. Girls, what is going on? Sorry, I mean, princes and princesses. Let me collect my thoughts. Um, so you have two choices in life. You either let your circumstances define you 
or you rise above them like a winner like a winner like when people see me they will not see a victim you have to I'm gonna sound like Andrew Tate adopt a winner mindset like you put me in a bad situation not only will I find the positives but I will be cracking jokes and smiling the whole time and coming out stronger on the other side maybe maybe not the whole time I'll definitely be crying a little bit in between but like for the most part it smiles like do I stumble well yes <laughs> just like everyone else but here's the thing your setbacks they're all lessons every challenge is making you stronger and more prepared for the life that you deserve Ooh, 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 ooh. what the frick was that hold on Ooh. the way i just let go of the entire bow and arrow i kind of see it like a video game like i just see my challenges and problems as like me leveling up and every time I beat them I get stronger like more practically if you're wondering like okay how the frick do I adopt that mindset in my opinion it comes down to two things I think it's accountability and self-love accountability just meaning owning your mindset and your decisions I think it's about recognizing that even though you can't control every situation you control your response to it and I think self-love knowing that you deserve better and not being willing to settle for anything less than that life that you know you deserve. Because settling for anything less than that is a disservice to yourself. It's, it would be a disservice to myself and those that believe in me and support me. Yeah, and the cool part about this is because it's your mindset, you can decide to shift it at any moment. Like this could be your canon event right now. You could be like, girl, I'm fed up. Like I'm changing my whole life. Who is a liner? Who this TikToker got it popping? Educated only for 